Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kid That Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share a review of How to Draw a Dragon by Kate Talbot, which is a really gorgeous, fun picture book. This was sent to me for review by Alan and Unwin and the book itself has been published by Albert Street Books. So thank you very much to both of them for the review copy. I'm going to start off by reading the blurb. So it says, everybody knows what a dragon looks like, don't they? Dragons have wings, dragons breathe fire. Maybe dragons wear roller skates and shoot marshmallows from their tails. A hilarious celebration of imagination, creativity and teamwork perfect to share with children who love drawing or who have opinions. This book starts out, it has a multiple narration style in the book. So the different styles of text tell you when characters or the narrator voice changes. So you have one character who's asking what's going on, what are you drawing? And then the person who's doing the drawing says a dragon. But then of course the other person has an opinion it doesn't look like a dragon. And then they go on to say what they feel like a dragon should look like. And then as that happens, we get these little extra bits drawn onto the dragon. So it grows and changes as they're having this back and forth conversation about what a dragon looks like and what the features are. And that's really fun. There's a couple of picture books that I've read in the past that have done that and that have that conversational style of narrators talking to each other and the images change. Uh, one of the ones that I can think of the most is Not A Box, which is one of my favorite kids picture books especially for creativity and imagination and I think this is going to join it in that category. It's really fun, it's really enjoyable, it does call into you know question opinion versus fact and I mean it's a dragon so we don't have necessarily have fact but what we do have are a lot of opinions and about what we think a dragon is and so this dragon grows and morphs into a combination of everyone's thoughts about what a true dragon is and so that idea of creativity and teamwork are really really strong in this book because that's exactly what it is and it's a really great one because you could there's so many things that you could do with this book from starting off with your own drawing and having someone else add to it to enhance it or to add their take to it so it does provide a really good jumping off point and it's also a really great one just to talk about and go okay well do you agree is that something that a dragon needs because just because one character thinks that a dragon would have green wings is that what you think do you think they'd look like this or would they be bigger or smaller or would they be scaly or anything like that so there's a really great opportunity to really unpack that and spend some time having deeper conversations which I think is really really important overall it's just a really fun picture book it's bright it's colorful the contrast of having the original drawing in black and all of the additions in color also makes it really pop and stand out and I mean who doesn't love a book about a dragon when you look at the pages it's just so fun so vibrant so engaging and I think that there will be a lot of kids who absolutely adore this so thank you again to the publishers for the review copy I will leave links to where you can find out more information about the books down below if you have any questions or comments feel free to share them down below or just leave a dragon emoji to let me know that you're here I hope that wherever you are in the world you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in my next video thanks so much for watching bye everyone